Okay, everybody, welcome back to The Sims Medieval. It just now turned that clock. And mm. I'm ready to get this show on the road. So, um, we got a sick parrot on the guild emissary, and we got a passive edit. So, we're gonna propose one right now. He literally just woke up. Gosh, you look like such a kid right there. Uh, make your bed, take a bath, wash, use. Go on ahead and make some food. Yeah. And then you're gonna go see up a little bit. Um, he also has to. A long room. And he has to use a conversation. Oh, folks are for grass hole. Raise the minimum required wage for all higher apprentices in the kingdom of symbols. Uh, I'm gonna say, raise the minimum required wage. Feel like that might be more helpful. <laughs> hmm. Sure. Uh, we're gonna monitor the edict of support. Hey, it's the one that I wanted. Wait, taxes for villagers who do not work within the bounds of the castle. Within the bounds of the castle will be decreased, but just. Hmm. Well, I think I chose the right one this time. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, now it's be in two hours. I have a feeling it's gonna be fine. So, we're just gonna. Oh, wait. I just gotta go over here and actually do that. So, how are you doing? You're still cutting. You just to go. You're just fine. I kinda wanna get everybody, like, these done and then we'll continue, which shouldn't take too terribly long. Uh, he got home at about 3 a.m. I had him... Well, just to give you an idea, he was over here, and then there's uh, herbs down here, herbs through here. Like, he collected all the ones pertinent that I wanted. Came, went up, gathered, 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 came up, gathered, and discovered, and gathered. And then just about right there we had him go to sleep because he was starting to just completely fail at everything. He's also looking for a fight, so we might just spar with this guy. Ha! And then we'll second him. Imsegrel, Jeffram, Lamineth, hmm. Omer, oh, Devon, Lazorin, Vet. I kind of want to try out. Cow rule. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Oh, bad. oh, that's an interesting. I thought it was a longer deal. <sighs> ah! Yeah, I don't feel bad about sticking a parrot on you any longer. <laughs> that was. This is painful to watch. Oh my god. Oh, you finally got it. Oh my god. And we're done. Toad brain Otherwise. Call. To the blind. Meanwhile, have a parrot. One instant here. Okay. Once you're done with that, a Oh, there it is. Uh, eat it, and then you're gonna come over here into the hall, because more than likely there's gonna be a conversation you can listen in on. Ah, <laughs> 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 Alright. Sit the parrot on. Oh. Well, no. Mm, mm. No. Nims <laughs> uh, Excellent. Thirty minutes. <laughs> 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 it's very fun. <laughs> 
Huh. All right, feed him. Pet him. Very talk to him. And send him treasure right. hunting. And then... Hi. Hmm, maybe we'll have him go on an adventure. Uh, get out. Come on. All right, uh, race. That's what we're going with. Everybody wants to So, that worked for everybody. Perfect. He's going to go on an adventure right quick. This conversation. I mean, really, what better conversation was to know on other than the uh, emissaries from Craft Hole and Treadney? Narish Neg Rouve. Gorso Exitage Imza. Though. Oh, yeah. Told her. Penurge. Dresser Orvage. Misole. I think we'll actually have him craft some stuff now. I'm sure I have enough things. So let's get him to stock while our lord is on an adventure. <laughs> and he can make drinks. So no, he can't. Okay. Um. Alright, so I'm going to pause it because I always do. Uh, lord leaf. Lord leaf. Valor roots is right there. Got a whole bunch of seeds, so we can have a bunch of nasty seed porridge. Uh, I don't believe we had any angel weed. Did we have any eagle wood? We did. Oh, got the mana stone from Edward, actually. He had one, so I just shifted it over. And then... That. Whoops. I wanted to grab it. And then his the cheese, uh... His bird brought back, actually. Let's go ahead and have him craft an item. Uh, coagulating compound. I really like... I don't really want to make one of those. That would be probably useful. Truth. Okay, we're gonna have him make that just because if he's got one in his inventory, then we can just go on ahead and send him off. What's she doing in there? Is she just standing there waiting for her lord to come back? <laughs> Oh, uh, Lord Edward saw a traveling merchant lying ab uh, along the mountain path. He appeared to be injured in some way and in need of assistance. As Edward approached, uh, mouthed the word help. Pitiful merchant in need of medical attention. A few stores from his pack would do the trick. Wouldn't cost more than a few gold smalls to replace. 25, he got plenty. Uh, opportunity. Why waste good supplies? Pass up. Just, we're gonna help him. We're good. good. Oh. We're 10 renown, 5 enthrall. I was able to pull through. Um, sing the praises of Dragon's Veil. Perfect. Cool. So he got money, I think. He got XP, which is actually better, in my opinion. My very humble opinion, because he's level 2. Because, <laughs> you know, he died. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls. He died. I'm like, Brad, no problem. Yeah, that flush. <laughs> I need glory. Okay, so now we're gonna make the coagulating compound. We'll probably make two of them. And he's actually getting XP from this. Oh, walking through the forest, we're gonna look to the side and saw an injured little pink pixie practically buzzing up in a dusty circle with a stuck wing. Uh, poor little pixie just needed a little help so she could fly away. Maybe if he was kind, the tiny creature would return to the world something special. If he was careful enough to crush her tiny body. Lord Edward now had exactly one mission in life to catch the pink little pest. He would have to grab her quickly, but what if she escaped? Life pixies were worth a small fortune. Well, you're the monarch. You don't need a small fortune. Okay, we made the compound. You're a good potion master. Should have named you Snape. Uh, well, you are kind of technically named after a, uh... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, you're not. 
Wizard is. Never mind. Lord Edward gently approached the panicked pixie and offered her a hand. The pixie hesitated for a moment, then meekly nodded a small tear in her eye. Lord Ed uh, Edward carefully unstuck her little wing and let the pixie perch on his forearm so she could take flight. Thank you, kind sir. It is not often that humans open their hearts to the suffering of other creatures. She then plopped some little presents into Lord Edward's eager palm and zipped off to the sky, leaving a beautiful trail of pink pixie dust. Holy crap, that's a lot of honey. Oh, that's 14 honey. And that means we can make more rum. <laughs> Our wife is a drunkster. <laughs> Drunkard, okay. Don't judge. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna make another. Look. Da, da, da. Put your bird back, dude. Put it back. Go on yep. ahead and hire to Slander. I wonder if that's gonna cost us extra, considering that um, we threatened him yesterday. Go ahead and make another quieting compound. From hmm. sick to no. Um, and we'll go ahead and get Edward back. Oh shoot, no, I didn't want that. Alright, we're gonna watch him. So he had a good adventure. And I need you to uh, unclip that, honestly. It's terrible. We're just speed this up so we're already at the level. And I really would like to finish this episode. We'll finish this quest tonight. And this episode, in fact. Of course, it might be a little bit more. Good night, you're fast. Stop that. Uh, cross another item. Potion of. Go on and make a potion of preparation. Go ahead and slander her. Flampel! On gel muscle. He's gonna have me no. okay, pay him a lot. Mm. Aha! He's not really talked to me since I fed him. Mm. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, Raptonian. Oh. Uh, since I found that boil on my back, that, uh, what looks like a dragon, I'd be happy to oh. slander this instructor oh, will free to <laughs> What are we doing now? Follow Gutter Snipe Elven to the town square. Nothing like a crazy, dirty, rambling beggar to scare children away from something. Why do I have a feeling this is not gonna work? Go. Go. So she's still up here. Yes, I'm going to fix Hey kid, you want to learn something? Learn this. I used to work hard to learn things about stuff. And look at me now, worthless beggar who eats mud, gross, and sleeps in a different patch of mud. If you want to be like me, stay in school. <laughs> uh, what do we gotta do next? Tell them all their students have been driven away. Now that that now to see that pesky teacher leave as well. Try tell the instructor that her class is dismissed. We'll go on ahead and have him craft one more thing. Let's see if we can get him to craft it. Otherwise, it'll just he'll finish it and it'll be in his inventory. But. We're gonna. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought I heard the dog throwing up behind me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bad one. <laughs> this has been no, hard. Hating ah. to have to bit. My uncle was a bad guy. He like a fish. I'm out of here before I start eating mud. I don't want to be a bad guy. I'm going home. I'm la. Bad of it. Okay, so now we're gonna do. We're doing it. Okay. Oh, good. Did we send a bird home at some point? Yeah, bro. Jordan, I'm fast. I'm trying to get the map and stuff, although I need to go to the IA shovel. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we're gonna hopefully finish this. I just did want to make a couple of these for him because he's kind of squishy at the moment. Mm. Last 
And I think this would be my picture. Selenish Halprin La Glory. Alright, this will be. I guess that's good enough. Finerbe! Oh no, that's good enough. <laughs> Oh my gosh, squinty eye. Oh, no death. <sighs> I give up. You win. You destroyed my will to help people and killed my one passion in life. I may as well wander off into the forest to be eaten by wolves. <laughs> <laughs> I should feel horrible. To Romain. Robin. Ah, oh, we're evil. Uh, and I am the pirate king. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are we Sidaya done? <laughs> we are done. Oh no! <laughs> the chapter will free to set off towards the village and soon regretted our final words from Lord Edward. A giant wolf leaped from the nearby bush. That hungry look in his eyes. <laughs> oh boy! Well, I saw anybody saw a chapter will free to was when she ran away screaming with the wolf in the <laughs> Did, oh no, was he at level 3 or? Well, I don't know. Uh, we completed it at pa platinum level. That's awesome. Lord Edward succeeded in suppressing the educational development of his subject. His iron grip on the kingdom grew stronger and assured that his legacy would last well into the future. Uh, yeah, so they're kind of rich now. They have like $5,000 each. <laughs> they got $3,000 each, but they had like 2000 before. So, wow. Uh,. Lord Edward, he is now a monarch at level 4, which is just steel defense and fighting proficiency, and the spy is at level 6. Higher chance to pickpocket, slightly higher chance to steal funds, more proficient at poison making, he's pretty good at it already, finding proficiency moderately increased and takes slightly reduced damage when fighting without armor. Excellent. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm pulling up YouTube on my other screen real quick. Because, <sighs> I mean, technically we could buy, like, two. Two heroes, and then I'll just create them off screen, and yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ages ago. It was ages ago. I know it was ages ago. I know it was ages ago, guys. Hmm. Am I this dumb? Where the heck is it? Uh... That's three months ago. That was not it. Man. I should have found it before. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, Bard or Blacksmith next is what you know, Emma said. So we might just buy both. <laughs> For all manners of tools, weapons, and armor are manufactured. There was no point to building, uh, creating buildings to house and train the military if they were to be completely vulnerable to attack. Thus, thick stone city walls were erected along with these structures to defend against the mishmash of rival rousers, barbarians, bandits, thieves, and deadly chinchillas. <laughs> okay, so I will make that. That's right. I'm gonna make a little loop for myself. I 
Welcome to the creation of the kingdom drinking. <laughs> hard times call for hard drinks. We'll get that next time because I feel like no kingdom, like, come on, we need it. And now, let's see, okay, so a little bit over 20 minutes on this one. I do apologize. But, yeah, so just let me know who we should get next time. We've got four left. And now it's time for this favorite thing. being said, if you do want to start the DLC, you can. No issues against that. Just, yeah. So, uh, every now and then a king is solidified as a power less to be used to his grip and a great work to form a what have you done for us lately principle whose I am the Lord ever to prove his divine right to by establishing the soul of the world to the kingdom of land. So, the primary here will be the monarch. We just play the monarch, so I think we need to play somebody else. It looks like the power is going to be the monarch in this power girl. Unless you guys want to see the monarch again. Uh, anyone can marry in Dragon Sail with the moon. A wedding? Why would I want the lost moon droid? Uh, and still others were perhaps not quite so sure they were making the right choice. Carefully. Uh, and then we don't have Jacob's Priest, so. So far it's looking like Monarch, Physician, Fountain of Legend,
Wandering Travellers was hosting a fortune feast war in Town Square, offering games of chance and stuff our artifacts for sale and precious insight into the future. All citizens of Dragon's Hill were encouraged to visit the festival and try their luck. Warning for real future. What happens? This is also a free for all any hero excluding monarch. Does that mean the monarch won't die in this one? Please. I I don't <laughs> Butt kicked because he got killed. <laughs> By our physician! <laughs> so yeah, this is also a free throw. Here in the throne of the Lord of Rose brought him. He was having a midlife crisis, brought on by the realization he had no more fear in the world and no sweet light than he did just before. The king would do whatever was necessary to have the right to the child. Father Susan had a child worthy of the world, learned before age and age. So this would be another pumping, pumping out the princess. <laughs> okay. Rumors of a talking frog named Frugal had been spreading around Dragonsville for a few days. This wasn't just another fairy tale that captured the minds of the kingdom. There really was magic frog out there somewhere. So we would have to find this talking frog. Okay, figure out how to find the talking frog that he drink in the air. <laughs> and here I'm excluding the monarch. And then supporting the rogue would be the monarch. So this would be a free roll. Um towards the robots. Figure out how to find the talking frog. Find someone who wants to transfer the frog to like this. And so supporting the rogue would be the physician. Our options. We've got either the monarch or or um, no. So on this one, everyone except for the monarch or the physician, depending on that, this will be the monarch. Anyone but the monarch are freaking. Does it actually say what happens? Okay, it doesn't say what happens. I know the last one it said that the monarch was going to be killed. So, this is everyone but the monarch. Everyone but the monarch. This one was. Um, this one was. Physician. Don't have the Jenkins. Wedding would be. I've never done it, but what? Is it literally gonna have us just go out and like end anymore? Power grab would be the monarch, and the ominous tides is the monarch. Okay. And that's also the DLC, so it, I think it's like the viewer or something. But anyway, guys, that is your options. Holy crap, this is gonna be a very good episode. I apologize. Um. But we will have the bard and the blacksmiths made. I have ideas for this guy. Maybe.